Hey there, future me here to introduce a video I actually shot quite some uh, time ago. Now, uh, the video will show you how I found and fixed and actually had this very carburetor back in the service. Uh, but I just decided I wanted to replace it. And so now the engine's got everything new on it. Uh, but anyhow, uh, a power valve failure uh, on this Motorcraft carburetor and probably any carburetor for that matter that has a power valve where it's vacuum on one side and fuel on the other can uh, really lead to some serious uh, problems quickly. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, well, this is the carburetor from this 83 F-150, and Motorcraft used this carburetor, I think, for two years. Um, it is kind of rare because of that and hard to find, uh, but any two-barrel carburetor Motorcraft will work on there. I just wanted everything to match up with the linkages and such. I, I just replaced it, even though I had it working fine, uh, because you can see it... it the choke uh, was long gone. In fact, years ago, I'd put a manual choke on there. And bizarre as it is, this this truck, this 302, would start in the dead of winter, cold as could be, with the choke wide open, where uh, my GM vehicles, man, that thing better be closed all the way. Even, uh, you know, even on a hot summer day, to start it cold in the morning, that choke had to be closed. Uh, but anyhow, the, uh, you'll see here in a moment when we get into the actual footage I shot a while back, uh, it had a power valve, uh, failure and it was just sucking fuel, raw fuel straight. This is engine vacuum that goes right from here, right under straight engine vacuum under the, uh, carb spacer plate. Uh, and the first time it, that this happened, um, prior to me rebuilding the engine was kind of the primary reason I had to rebuild the engine was uh, it was leaking around leaking around the gasket. I had gotten this thing just back into service, replaced a accelerator pump on it, driving it around and all of a sudden it just goes you know super rich and it's conking out and just barely hitting on any cylinders. And it had just sucked all kinds of fuel straight from here, uh, from the power of the gasket around the power valve down uh, straight into the cylinders. And that's what led to uh, broken rings and, and such. In fact, so much got sucked in there, it went past the rings down into the oil and the oil was full of gasoline. So uh let's let's get into the actual footage where i show you how to you know uh, take this apart it's real simple four screws uh take the top off and then watch uh how the gasoline will just you know come out of it so uh anyhow let's get into it what had flooded out big time and the um in fact, it is still wet down in there. This is the, uh, see, that's not right. Let's see, can I get it? Yeah, oh, look at that. You see that? Look at that. So there is problem number one right there. That is the vacuum line. See, I pulled it off yesterday. As soon as I saw it just go super rich, um, I pulled that line off to the, uh, and plug that vacuum port in there and see that. So that's the vacuum that runs up to the power valve um, up under here. So <laughs> there should not be gas in there. And that goes back to this carburetor has been sketchy for a while. Um, and that goes back to what caused this whole problem. Um, when it bunch of fuel dumped in there and um, busted the rings and, and everything else. So, um, hold this and take that off. Um, so, uh, I will be pulling that off. All right, these carburetors come apart quite easy. Um, just some Phillips head screws on the top. And um, also this one on the side 
for the choke and with and this carburetor is funny it's complete my Oldsmobiles man that choke has got to be absolutely closed all the way uh, for that thing to start I mean like even on a hot summer day <laughs> this Ford it can be 10 below zero Choke's never been hooked up and working on this thing, and it's just wide up. The thing will start right up. I mean, you have to kind of, you know, feather the gas a little bit boom, 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 once it starts. Um, but, um, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It'll just start with an open choke uh, in cold, cold weather, and um, most things do not like that. Let's see if that was enough to let pop off. And there we go. So, yeah, there's like no fuel in there. You know, barely any fuel. So, um, I will now flip it open, uh, flip it over and take off that bottom power valve housing. All right, so that was full of fuel underneath there. You can see upside down as soon as I cracked open the housing for the uh, power valve, um, you know, gas just started pouring out and there shouldn't be any in there. So uh, I suspect it's leaking around the gasket. Um, you know, I try not to tighten these things down too much. Um, you know, old pop metal and stuff you can break this stuff real easy but uh just to confirm where it's coming from um which i suspect around the gasket i'm gonna flip it over the normal way and pour some gas in there and see where it see where it leaks out okay well it looks like if you can see that you see it's wet um, go right way here yeah see it's the gas looks like it's leaking through the power valve itself so the sealing of the gasket was okay which was a problem i've had in the past it looks like it's yeah it's the power valve itself is leaking so let me uh look in my stash and see what i've got and get that swapped out so there is a diaphragm in these and it uh it just must be ruptured uh, Again, this is an old power valve that was uh, in this carburetor. So that diaphragm is probably ruptured and it's, and it's leaking past. Um, so I do happen to have, you can kind of actually see it move. The, the diaphragm is right up under here. So um, a little bit different looking style, but um, you know, as long as it works, who cares? Uh, so, uh, I'm going to put that in and, uh, it should be a quick fix. Just so you see, you know, just, <laughs> that's really all there is to it and tighten it down without being too tight. That's, you know, you got to kind of find the sweet spot on, on that. So, uh, I'll do that and put it back together and on and see what happens. I'm also going to take a fuel pressure reading because uh, I just want to know while the uh, while the carburetor is is off. Okay, so new power valve is in the carburetor. I've got gas in it. I have pushed on the little plunger. Normally vacuum from underneath is what pulls this down. So I've Pushed on this, and now I can. I don't know if our angle is. Where are we? Um, yeah, there it is. Of course, the gas is running out of the bowl from the top, but um, <laughs> with that gas, you see, is just it pouring out backwards out of the out of the bowl. Uh, but anyhow, it is not leaking out of the power valve. So, uh, yay always a good idea to check things like that you know don't, don't just blindly put it together and go and you know no as simple as it is to check 
do that little test first and, and then make sure. So uh, I'll just pop this thing back together and, uh, and on there and get my fuel pressure reading um, while I get everything apart and we should be good to go. Okay, so just did a fuel pressure check. You can see I got the gauge hooked up to the fuel line here. And what's nice about the Fords is you can just connect those two terminals on the solenoid and spin it up. Um, but still had my coil disconnected. Anyhow, that's seven and a half pounds of pressure. And it's... Too much as far as I'm concerned. I would really rather see it down around five. So I'll be getting a regulator. So let's pop this carburetor on. And now I have to be careful here since this is under pressure. I have to slowly release that and let that bleed down because uh, fuel will, you know where it goes? It goes in your eyes. That's where it goes. So, um, you know, put it loosen the clamp, put a rag around and wiggle jiggle it off and bleed that pressure off. Don't just go wee, you know, you're gonna get a face full of gas. Okay, all is good in the neighborhood. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna on that. There you can see what I'm talking about. This should just be a trickle coming through. So that's back to how it should be. So all that seems to be fine and adjusted the idle. I don't know if I can lean in here. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, around 700 or so. And so all that is, all that's good uh, from you know, and I could tell something was going on for a while. Um, it just was kind of sluggish, and it seemed like it was running rich. This, what is this? My ridiculous exhaust. When I temporarily sold this to somebody, and then I ended up buying it back not long after. Um, anyhow, they, they did that. So, uh, I have a NASCAR exhaust system. Um, Anyhow, that is running really, really good. Uh, but from it running rich like that, and like I said, I could tell, I was, man, something's up with this thing. It just, like, it's kind of blah, you know, and it would puff some smoke when you would start it. Oh, that was the thing when it was uh, starting up hot, you know, after it ran. Um, you know, it was kind of a challenge to start it sometimes uh so that kind of let me know right there something was up yeah uh, so i'm gonna find a nice uh abandoned parking lot somewhere to take this and pour some pour a little bit of transmission fluid um down the uh carburetor uh well giving us some throttle and that will burn off all the carbon that's in there so Anyhow, uh, it's it's running good again. Yay. All right, so if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and useful on how to troubleshoot and repair uh, power valve issues where you've got fuel just, just getting sucked right, uh, raw fuel getting sucked right into the engine, uh, go ahead and uh, push on your power valve like button and please uh comment subscribe and share and i will see you on the next one thank you